Welcome back, beautifuls. It's Smilex here. And from in between this video and the last video, I was just kind of exploring to understand more of this game before I just like noob my way around this. And I accidentally picked up a new character while I wasn't recording. Uh, that being said, uh, her name is Sarah. And I just picked her up in a. She's kind of like, oh wait, let me, she's kind of like a Robin Hood type of character. I've made her an archer, and, you know, she helps the little people, she says, you know, helps the poor and stuff like that. So this is Sarah right here, and she's kind of funny, she's really sarcastic, and she's crazy, which is great, because who doesn't want a crazy person? So, I'm sorry that I didn't record that. That being said, uh, let us continue. Uh, actually, hold on. The world map. While I was, I, I picked her up at Val Royo, uh, so... And while I was there, I was invited to this ball type of thing. What is it? The salon. Okay, whatever. Let's just go there for now. Lady... Lavellan, on behalf of the Inquisition. What a pleasure to meet you, my lady. Seeing the same faces at every event becomes so tiresome. So you must be a guest of Madame de Fer. Or are you here for Duc Bastien? Are you here on business? I have heard the most curious tales of you. I cannot imagine half of them are true. Uh Let's just go and order here. What have you heard about me? Some say that when the veil opened, Andresta herself delivered you from the fate. If you say so. I'm not familiar with that name. I was invited here by first enchanter Vivienne. Madame de Fer is a fond nickname the court has given Lady Vivienne. I've heard she finds it amusing. I've heard very little about Duke Bastien. He hasn't been seen much at court lately. His business with the Consul of Heralds often takes him from home for long periods. It can't be good for a man of his years. And of course, there's the civil war. Bastien probably wishes to distance himself from the actions of his one-time son-in-law. Tearing up the Dales in a foolish bid for power? It will end in disgrace for Gaspar. Everyone knows it. Wait, there's another war besides the mages and the Templars? This world looks like it's just gone to shit. Alright. Some of those storytellers may have gotten carried away. But only for the best effect. The Inquisition is a ripe subject for wild tales. The Inquisition. What a lot of pig shit. Fuck you, man. Washed up sisters and crazed seekers. No one can take them seriously. Everyone knows it's just an excuse for a bunch of political outcasts to grab power. Uh, no. We're... We're restoring peace, punk. The Inquisition is working to restore peace and order to Thedas. Here comes the outsider. Restoring peace with an army. We know what your Inquisition truly is. That's all if that it is. If you were a woman of honor, you'd step outside and answer the charges. My dear Marquis, how unkind of you to use such language in my house to my guests. You know such rudeness is... Intolerable. 
And Madame Vivienne, I humbly beg your pardon. You should. Whatever am I going to do with you, my dear? Kill him! My lady, you're the wounded party in this unfortunate affair. What would you have me do with this foolish, foolish man? Oh my god, kill him is actually an, actually an option. I didn't, I didn't actually mean that. I don't really give a shit, though, so let's do the that. The Marquis doesn't interest me. Do whatever you like with him. Poor Marquis. Issuing challenges and hurling insults like some Ferelden dog lord. <coughs> and all dressed up in your Aunt Solange's doublet. Didn't she give you that to wear to the Grand Tourney? To think all the brave Chevaliers who will be competing left for Markham this morning. And you're still here. Were you hoping to sate your damaged pride by defeating the Herald of Andraste in a public duel? Or did you think her blade could put an end to the misery of your failure? Run along, my dear. Do give my regards to your aunt. I'm Ooh. delighted you could attend this little gathering. I've so wanted to meet you. I've so wanted to meet you. That's right. <laughs> Allow me to introduce myself. I am Vivienne, first enchanter of Montsimard, an enchantress to the Imperial Court. Is that Marquis going to pose a problem? His aunt is the Vicomtesse of Mont de Glace. Not a powerful family, but well respected. And very devout. Alphonse will be disowned for this. It's not the first time he's brought his aunt disgrace, but I'm sure it'll be the last. And after such a public humiliation, I expect he'll run off to the Dales to join the Empress's war effort. Either to make a good end or to win back a modicum of self respect. I'm always going to be nice, because why not be nice? Charmed, Lady Vivian. Ah, but I didn't invite you to the chateau for pleasantries. With Divine Justinia dead, the Chantry's in shambles. Only the Inquisition might restore sanity and order to our frightened people. As the leader of the last loyal mages of Thedas, I feel it only right that I lend my assistance to your cause. Is this business or pleasure? What? <laughs> oh my god, let's just go on over here. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? To the people of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, as some have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. What's in this for you? The same thing anyone gets by fighting this chaos. The chance to meet my enemy, to decide my fate. I won't wait quietly for destruction. I feel like this is an interview, like I'm interviewing her if she's, you know, good for the Inquisition. This is just weird. What are loyal mages? Uh -huh. You say you led the last of the loyal mages. Loyal to whom? Oh, I already did this. To the people Oops. of Thedas, of course. We have not forgotten the commandment, Oops, as some skip. have, that magic exists to serve man. I support any effort to restore such order. So you're in favor of returning the mages to the circle, then? Where else can mages safely learn to master their talents? We need an institution to protect and nurture magic. Maker knows. Magic will find neither on its own. What exactly can you do for the Inquisition? I am well versed in the politics of the Orlesian Empire. I know every member of the Imperial Court personally. I have all the resources remaining to the circle at my disposal. And I'm a mage of no small talent. Will that do? I'm really tempted to s select this. I'm just gonna do it. Is your interest in the Inquisition Madame de Fer, or is it more personal? <laughs> Aren't you charming? <laughs> it's professional, of course. Of course! <laughs> Okay, let's just take this super duper mage. The Inquisition will be happy to have you, Lady Vivian. Great things are beginning, my dear. I can promise you that.
Alright, I'm getting a pretty uh, beefed up team here. Actually, I don't think I'll be having any more males in my party. It's just gonna be all female. Girl power! Booyah. Alright. Let's uh, talk to some people. Let's be social. I see you got Cassandra here. Colin. I don't really like Colin, so let's not talk to him. Let's talk to Cassandra. It occurs to me I don't actually know much about you. What do you want to know? I'm not sure. Where are you from? Make something up. <laughs> um, let's tell her. My clan never stayed in one place for long. Though we primarily roamed the free marches. Oh, I didn't think your people roamed that far north. But clearly I'm mistaken. I'm told some members of your clan might still be alive. Do you intend to go back? Uh. 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 I don't know. Home is wherever I am, I suppose. Wherever I am is home enough. That's how I feel now, after years of tending to business for the Divine. Tell me about yourself, girl. I'd get to know you better. You would? Is that a problem? Not entirely. I'm just curious as to your motivation. Motivation to get in your... P okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. Oh my god, wait, I can actually flirt with her? Let's do that. Is there any harm in us becoming a little closer? Plenty. <laughs> is that right? <sighs> As you wish. My name is Cassandra <laughs> Pentagast, daughter of the Royal House of Navarra, 78th in line for the Navarran throne. I joined the Seekers of Truth as a young woman and was with the Order until they withdrew from the Chantry. I remained as the Divine's right hand, carrying out her order to form the Inquisition. And here we are. That's all there is to know, my lady. Ooh, she just called me my lady. You're a member of Navarro's royal family. The Pentagasts are a very large clan. Half of Cumberland could say the same. Really? No, but it feels that way. I have hundreds of relatives so distant they need charts to prove we're related at all. And they have them. Oh, yes. The Pentagasts value their precious blood like it runs with gold. So, not on very good terms with your family, then? I do not visit, if that's what you mean. The Pentagasts are famed for dragon hunting, but few actually pursue the craft. Most are fat and lazy. They pay their <laughs> service to the Maker and care only for idle pleasures and past glory. My brother was all that kept me in Navarra. Once he was gone, so was I. Tell me about your brother. I would prefer not to speak of Antony. Another time, perhaps. No. So you were the right hand to the Divine? To Divine Justinia, yes. And Divine Beatrix before her, in fact. The position is normally reserved for Templars of the Knights Divine. But my circumstances were unusual. Unusual how? You don't know the story? Thank the Maker. I will tell you if you wish. But it isn't as exciting as some drum it up to be. The short version is that I once saved the previous Divine's life. My reward was becoming her right hand. But what does a right hand do, exactly? What is your hand capable of? It gives, it takes, it beckons. It makes a fist. Liliana and I extended the Divine's reach beyond the Grand Cathedral. We went where she could not. After Beatrix, I was tired of the position and wanted to return to the Seeker. But Justinia convinced me to stay. Her vision for the future gave me hope. You thought she could really change things? 
Justinian knew the war was coming long before it began. She tried to avert it, but the forces arrayed against her were too strong. Sometimes you have to break a bone so it can be reset. That's where the Inquisition comes in. It was to be the answer. A means to preserve as well as an agent for change. I only wish she had lived to see it. No. I want to give you a hug. Oh, I'm hugging you. I'm, I'm hugging you by running in circles. Oh, loot. Excuse me, remove your foot off this box, please. Anyway, let's talk to uh, Sarah and Vivienne. Where are they? I haven't the slightest idea. We'll find them. There's Varric. Oh, here's Sarah. Just chilling in some random dude's home. So, this is it, huh? Oh no, it's fine, yeah? It's just, I thought it'd be bigger. <laughs> that would have been hilarious if you were a man, right? Wasted. Anyway, stopping wars should earn more sovereigns than this. Need things back to normal for coins to be flowing again. Another reason the Templars and Mages need to be sat down. It's not just a war between those two. Well, sure, the sky has a hole in it. But I can't put an arrow in that. Well, I have. Doesn't come down. That's weird. <laughs> That's point, right? It's weird and right there. But they still want to punch each other. They're too busy to look up where the real questions are. That's why we're here. To help guide everyone back from the brink. The religious ones tell you that. That's important, right? But don't make it all about that. Seems like believing too hard is what got everyone here. And here is stupid. And smells of horse. Really, what everyone needs is to get everything back to normal and proper and profitable. Sound good to you, old touch lady Harold? What? Oh, hello. I'm just gonna flirt with everybody until something happens. <laughs> I think I'll enjoy having you around, Sarah. I hope you'll feel the same. Kinda, suppose, maybe. See you, Harold. Harold, I have to do something about that. Just call me Blake. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Chasing the Lord Seeker, I hear. Anyone who thinks they need Lord in front of the name, that's bad. Bet he's got a portrait taller than he is. That's your first clue to a total ass. Oh, that's terrible. Tell me about yourself. Oh, yeah. Interested, are you? How about the basics? Where are you from? Ferelden. I got that from the accent. Where in Ferelden? All over? Okay, fine. Denimum for a bit. South, north, wherever I want. There are no connections you want to mention at all. Nope. It's complicated. I don't like complicated. Let's leave it at that. Maybe. You're skilled. Who taught you how to use a bow? No one. That seems unlikely. What? I picked it up here and there. Mostly it just makes sense. It's not like that for you. Oh, certainly. Not a day's effort for the naturally gifted like us. <laughs> well, it's not like that. It takes work. A bit. Not like Colin and his pets. I mean, you miss, then you don't. Is it that hard to see when it's wrong? Well, it's not like that for other elves. I know that. <laughs> Most I know couldn't find an arrow sitting on it. 
Right. Maybe I just make it look easy and shite company. Fact still is, no teacher. Shite. That's Where funny. Where would I find one in alleyways anyway? I'm just interested in talking to an elf like me. Mm, don't think so. Why not? Well, maybe you're all right, but most elves are too elfy. Like that Solus, right? Never be as good as we were. Well, who's we? I'm just fine. Um. Oh, I don't even know. There's nothing to learn from any of that history. Yeah, don't do that. What? We lost so bad, there was nothing left. You figure out what they wore on their deathbed. You wear it. Waste of time. We'll talk later. If you say so. Chasing mages, that's a Templar's job. A big arm is pissed off helm polisher. Not too late to go find some. Or stay home. What do you think about the people who have gathered? Which? The ones who do things? The ones who give orders? Let's do... Cassandra. Thoughts about Cassandra? Not as buttoned up as she plays, right? Tough, though. I'd stand behind her in front of anything. What's your opinion of Vivienne? She's a bitch, but she knows. She better. Ha 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 ha! What do you think about our spy master, ambassador, and commander? Liliana is pretty in places. I swear I've seen her too. Or heard she used to play. But that'd be mad. Now Josephine, she's as good at humbling her kind as I am. Just with less mess. Knows her business, if you have to have it. And colours. I suppose if you want a jackboot, you get a big one so you can grow into it. Nice hair. <laughs> What about Solus? Solus? <laughs> His head's crammed up a thousand years ago. Haha. <laughs> we'll talk later. Good, right? I'll be here. Sitting and waiting. Great, yeah? Oh, whatever. I'll be back if I need you. Go on. Who's this? Oh, Maker, you're here. You're the Herald of Andraste. And you were sent to shame us for mistreating the elves. I, I pay my elves good and proper, you should know. Friend of the alienage and all, and... I mean, I'm Flissa. Can I get you a drink? Relax. It's Chill. It's alright, Flissa. I won't do anything frightening. If you wanted to close the breach, I wouldn't mind. As I said, I'm Flissa. The Inquisition soldiers needed a place to unwind, so Leliana brought me in to set up a tavern. Nothing fancy, but it's safer for the soldiers than looking for trouble in some village. You said Leliana asked you to run an Inquisition tavern. How did you meet? Dumb luck, mainly. I managed an inn back in Denerim. When I heard interesting gossip, I passed word to Liliana. Sometimes it was helpful. She asked if I wanted to own my own tavern, and I said yes. I didn't realize she meant this. What can you tell me about this area? Adana's Haven's apothecary. He's been making potions and tending to the wounded as best he can. Harith is the Inquisition smith. Whatever he can make you, Thren the quartermaster can probably find. And for anything fancier, you can try buying from Cedric. His prices aren't too high. Yes? Oh, there's also Minave. She studies beasts and things, as I understand. Farewell. Goodbye. Who's over here? Solus and I really don't care that much. What's in here? Anything I can loot? Oh, 
all fruit. It's not like I didn't have any, because I had like 50 of them. Alright. Oh, I'm just like looting things. Is this the same place that I went? No. Thank you for hurrying with the potions. We have so many injured. We'll get them back on their feet, sister. Don't you worry. Alright, well, I'm just gonna end it here. And I'll see you guys next time. Sorry, this episode was just mostly me talking to people. So, happy holidays and have a happy new year. Bye!